Hey everyone, Karen Winter here again from beatingchronicfatigue.com. This is my second day of my 30 day video challenge. And I thought I would introduce myself and give you a bit of my background and let you know how I came into kinesiology. When I was in my mid twenties, I was medically diagnosed with myalgic encephalitis, otherwise known as chronic fatigue syndrome. I ended up back in New Zealand for a couple of years undergoing treatment for severe pesticide poisoning from when I grew up in New Zealand. However, I had been living in Australia for a few years then. Basically, they told me that due to the extent of the toxicity and the poison all through my body that I'd probably never recover, never live a normal life and be dependent on the medical profession for the rest of my life. I didn't want to live in New Zealand. I packed up and moved back to Australia against all my friends and family's wishes. And when I got back, a friend of mine dragged me along to a health food store and introduced me to a kinesiologist who in two seconds was able to tell me what all my allergies were. Now at that time, I had truckloads of allergies. He was absolutely spot on and I was so impressed he could work that out all in the space of a couple of minutes. I then went on to have some kinesiology sessions with him despite being flat broke from all my medical expenses in New Zealand and I was really impressed with the results. I felt fantastic, I had more energy, my allergies disappeared and I started to feel a whole lot better. This got my attention and he started doing demonstrations and teaching kinesiology and I just wanted to figure out how it worked. So I dragged all my friends along to the demonstrations and went along to some of the workshops to learn it for myself. Little did I know I would develop a profession out of it and become a kinesiologist. Well, in the meantime, a lot has happened since then. I've been in clinical practice as a kinesiologist for 25 years and teaching kinesiology as an instructor and instructor trainer for 15 years, both in Australia and overseas. In the meantime, I ended up with Lyme disease. Little did I know, back in 1993 in inner city Melbourne, a mosquito bite I got one night on my way home from work where my leg blew up so badly I couldn't walk for five days was the beginning of Lyme disease. Now, only five years ago, I was actually able to treat it in only 15 months. So, as you can see, I know where you're coming from. Chronic fatigue and Lyme disease, been there, done that, experienced it all. Now, another interesting experience I had as a kinesiologist working in Melbourne is when I moved to the country, I referred a lot of my clients to um, other kinesiologists in Melbourne and I you know, often do a lot of work on friends and family and people and people used to say to me, do you know what, it's amazing, I get really good results with you, why don't I get the same results with others? And you know, I just thought, well, I'm just following the procedures and doing what we're supposed to do, you know, what am I doing different? Now recently I came across the release technique and I found that underneath the Lyme disease there's a lot of trauma. Unfortunately, my childhood was all trauma. My father was um, very abusive, loved four little words and shouted his head off every time he was in the house and ex exposed my whole family to trauma. And I've been starting to work with a release technique. What I've realized is when I was working with my kinesiology clients all, over all these years, when it came to dealing with the thoughts, feelings and emotions, I would get them to feel them, bring them to the heart, acknowledge them, appreciate them, accept them thank their feelings and emotions for what they taught, taught them and ask them to release them and let them go. And I've been working with the release technique, which I'm finding absolutely amazing because I now realise I've got truckloads of trauma to clear from my childhood. So if it's not chronic fatigue and it's not Lyme disease. It's... And I've realised that the technique that I've been using with my clients all these years is actually getting them to do exactly what what is required to release those feelings and emotions because what we do is we resist them the more they persist so when we resist our feelings and emotions we push them down we stuff them away we suppress them and they're held in the body the more you resist the more they persist with the release release technique i've put the link below this video so that you can order the mp3s and use the technique yourself 
feeling and acknowledging, loving and appreciating and accepting those feelings and emotions is the best way to release them and let them go. I've had phenomenal results with working with my clients over the years, getting them to do exactly this. Now you can do this at home, even without kinesiology sessions. So please feel free to click on the link below, order the release technique processes for yourself. I've been doing them every day and they are absolutely amazing. And if you haven't joined my Facebook page, You Happy Ever After, please come and join because there's going to be lots and lots of in my 30 day video challenge. And I'm going to be showing you quite a few kinesiology techniques, little energy healing techniques you can do on yourself every day, lots of ways to release your energy, to help you feel better, to switch your brain on, switch your body on, get you moving, get you integrated, and a whole lot more. Anyway, if you're interested in the release technique, click on the link below this video and do come and join my private Facebook page, You and you happy healthy ever after love you all bye for now see you in the next video